Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back. So the thing I want to talk about today is a product called Easy Drummer. And for those of you who don't know, it's a software uh, program that you can buy and you can use it with pretty much all the recording platforms, you know, be it GarageBand, Cakewalk or Pro Tools or Logic, whatever. Easy Drummer works with pretty much everything as far as I'm aware. Um, here's what the package looks like. I just got mine uh, a few weeks ago and I've been playing with it. It's by this company Tune Tracks that you can see down here. And you know, on average, um, you can buy it for about a hundred bucks and it has been one of the most <laughs> uh, fun things to play with, especially for GarageBand um, because you get a lot of control over the drums. You actually get a mixer for the drums. Um, you can select all sorts of different patterns and different drum sounds and stuff. Um, but really quickly, I'm going to give you a sample of something that I'm working on right now. And this is the bridge uh, for a song for a friend of mine. Her name is Valentina Raffaelli, and uh, she's a great new artist if you don't know about her. Uh, here is her MySpace page for her band Sunshine Superman. And um, yeah, so this is a song of hers that I've been working on, and this is the bridge to it. And Easy Drummer has made it a really great thing. So uh, here's the little audio demo, and then I'll be back and I'll show you how the program works a little bit. All right, so there's the clip that I wanted you guys to hear. Um, now, one thing I'll say real quickly is because um, I was using GarageBand, Easy Drummer, and my screen record program all at the same time, it was a little bit slow. So the graphic of like the kick drum and the snare um, was not in time with the music, and I know that, so don't write about that. Anyway, the point about that section of music is, um, is that as you could probably hear, there's sort of, you know, it's a long section and I wanted it to have sort of a long crescendo um, and the drums were going to play a major role in that happening. Um, so with Easy Drummer, I was re it was really, really simple to find, um, you know, the patterns and to double time things and triple time it if I needed to, um, to really get, you know, all the fills and stuff to be just how I wanted it to be. Uh, so anyway, enough of me talking, let's look at the program and I'll show you how it works a little bit. All right, so here we are in the GarageBand window. As you can see, I've already soloed the drum track. And as you can uh, probably also see, the piano here on the left-hand side, this was originally the default piano track. Um, I just turned it into the drum track. Uh, and you know, I came over here to this side, you can see it could have been any of these things. Um, but I came to the sound generator and I click on here and I have it set to Easy Drummer. Click on this, and there, you get to see the whole drum kit. Now, if I click on any of these, I get to hear them. Let me turn it up, and I'll apologize now because all this audio has to come in through my microphone here. Um, it's just not the best way to do it, but it's the only way I can do it right now, so I apologize. Anyway, so this is what it, the sounds they sound like. Of course, you can select any of these, you know, other things. This is a 12-inch tom. Here's the 14-inch I had going before, right? 
and you can select, you know, symbols and the ride and the hi hat, all that kind of stuff. The thing that makes it really special to me is uh, right here. Is this is the mixer? Um, I'll zoom in a little bit just so you can see it a little better. Um, you know, I have kick, snare, top, snare, bottom, hi hat, tom one, two, and three, an overhead, and a room mic. Um, you know, you don't get any EQ, but I'll tell you right now, the, the recordings are top notch, uh, so you don't really have to mess with the EQ too much. Um, but, you know, just having control over the volume is uh, key. Uh, so let me, you know, this is the same section we heard before. Right, so it's you know a great thing. Now, if I wanted to select um, a different groove or something, let me just show you how you do that. You go down to here, open grooves, and you're gonna select. Uh, I select pop rock because that's the drums I'm using right now. And see, so from here, I have all these different fills and things. So like I can go here and here, and then you can see how many things, how deep this actually goes. And I'll zoom in really well so you can see, um, because there's all these different variations, you know, hi-hats and fourths, eighths, sixteenths, um, with ghost notes or without ghost notes, or all these different variations. And these are really key um, to, you know, finding the right part. So here's one, let's say, eighth, uh, eighth notes on the hi-hat. So once you found the groove that you like, all you have to do is, let's say, let's move this out of the way. And through the magic of video editing, I have an extra channel now. So we found the groove we like through here. All you do is you grab it and you bring it up here and you drop it in the track. It's that easy. And as you can see, it comes in as a MIDI file. So that means that, you know, once you, let's try to scroll up to it and see where it is. There it is. So there is the drum track. and. Well, that's the uh, hi-hat, there's the kick, right, and the snare. So, you know, since it's here, if there's something you don't like, you can move it all over the place and, um, you know, or just leave it where it was. And that's it. You know, it's a really easy thing. It's really just click, drag, and drop, just like any other Mac uh, program. That's why we like Mac so much. Right. So there's all sorts of variations you can do. And it, it just it really is an amazing program. And I'm not going to go really deep into it. I'm just sort of here to show you, you know, what it can sound like possibility wise. But there are tons of videos on um, on YouTube that the tune tracks people have already made for you. Um, I'm just trying to help people find this program, because if you work with GarageBand, you know how frustrating it can be. Uh, you know, to work without control over your drums. And this is a great way to get control over your drums uh, inexpensively. So that's the video for today. Easy Drummer rocks. We love it. Uh, subscribe to the video and all that kind of stuff, or subscribe to the channel, rather. <laughs> all right, that's it, guys. Have a good day. Bye.